In this video I'll be going through stratified sampling. So let's have a look at this example. So the two-way table shows the gender and the contract types of 500 people in a company. The company wants to sample 80 people. So if we look more closely into this table we can see that 200 males work full-time, 50 males who work part-time, 100 male females work full-time and 150 females work part-time. And our population is 500. Now we want a sample that's fully representative of this population size. So by this I mean that each group, the sample from each group has to be uh, in proportion with the size of each group. So this will make more sense uh, as we go along. So let's change color and name each group. So uh, males who work full time, let's call that A, males and part time B, females and full time C, females and part time D. So we have our four groups A, B, C, and D. So let's change our color back to black. So what we want to do now is find the percentage form of each group. So to find the percentage form of group A, we do 200 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 and this gives us 40 percent for the second group group B we have 50 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 and this should give us 10 percent group C we have 100 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 and this gives us 20 percent for group D we have 200 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 and this should give us 30 percent now of course all the percentage if we add the percentages we will get 100 percent now what we want to do now is find these percentages of 80 so we want to find 40% of 80. So this can be written as 0.4 times 80. And that should give us 32. So for group B, we want 10% of 80. So let's write 0.1 multiplied by 80, and this should give us 8. For group C, we want 20% of 80, and this should give us 0.2 multiplied by 80, and we should get 16. And for group D, we want 30% of 80, and we should get 0.3 multiplied by 80, and we have 24. Now to check if uh, we have the correct sample, what we do is add uh, the samples of each group. So 32, add 8, add 16, add 24 will give us 80. So therefore we've done it correctly. Now in scenarios where we don't get 80, we have to use our initiative and uh, we would have to consider rounding some of these uh, either up or down. So that's method one. Uh, method two actually involves less calculation. So the first thing we do is we calculate a ratio and that ratio is sample sample size over population size. And f for this example, this is 80 over 500. And what we do next is, for each group, what we do is multiply this ratio. So 80 over 500 multiplied by 200. And if you type this into your calculator, you will get 32. So for group B, again, we do the same thing. So we have 80 divide by 500 multiplied by 50 
and we'll get 8. For group C, we do 80 over 500 multiplied by 100 and we should get 16. For group C, we should get, so we have 80 over 500 multiplied by uh, 150 and we should get 24. So these are our sample for each group. So from this group, males and full time, we need a sample of 32. From the second group, males and part time, we need a sample of 8. And from the third group, uh, females and part uh, full time, we need 16 people. And for the final group, we need to sample 24 people.